In this problem, we're going to solve x to the y equals y to the x. This is a really, really old, uh, famous math problem, so solution. So the way uh, that I've known to do this is to make a substitution. It's almost like we're taking this equation and we're going to solve for x and y in terms of uh, another variable. So it's kind of like we're going to end up with solutions that look like uh, parametric equations. So we'll start by letting y equal to some constant uh, times x, or some number times x. Let's just use u. So y is equal to ux. Then what we do is we just replace uh, both sides of this equation. So I'm going to replace this y here with ux, and this y here with ux. So we get x to the ux equals ux to the x. And if you were doing this for the first time, you might notice that there's an x here, and there's an x here. So you can write the left-hand side as xu to the x, and then this is still ux to the x. And what this does is it allows us to get rid of the x's, because now we can raise both sides to the 1 over x. So I'll use a different color here. So this is 1 over x. And then over here, this is also 1 over x. So these cancel. So you get x to the u equals ux, because these cancel. And then the natural thing to do here is to uh, divide by x to get all the x's on one side. So dividing by x, dividing by x. So we end up with, let's see, there's a 1 here, right? So you have to subtract the exponents. So it's x to the u over x to the 1. That's x to the u minus 1, and that's equal to u. All right, almost there. Now we can solve for x, right? We can raise both sides to the 1 over u minus 1. So this is 1 over u minus 1, 1 over u minus 1. Boom, that's how pros do it. This is equal to x equals u to the 1 over u minus 1. So now we have x in terms of u. We could have used any other letter, r, p, t, s. Um, so that's x. So what about y? Well, we know that y is equal to ux. So y is equal to u times u to the 1 minus u. To, yeah, u minus 1, sorry. <laughs> and there's a 1 here. And when you multiply these, you can add the exponents, right? So this is y equals u to the 1 plus 1 over u minus 1. You can write 1 as u minus 1 over u minus 1, like this. Then we still have plus 1 over u minus 1. And we do that so we can add the fractions. So y is equal to, let's see, we have u minus 1 plus 1. That's simply going to be uh, u. So we get u. Let me rewrite this like this. So we get u. And then we have u over u minus 1. And that would be the answer for y. And now you can like plug in numbers and play around with it. For example, let's say u is equal to 4, right? If u is equal to 4, you get x equals. So we're putting a 4 here for all the u's. So you get 4, 1 over, and then 4 minus 1. So you get 4, 1 over 3. So that's the cube root of 4. So x equal to the cube root of 4. And then y, plugging in uh, the 4s here, this would be n here, and here, right? There's u's everywhere. So this is 4. And this is 4 over 4 minus 1. So this is going to be 4, and then 4 thirds. So this would be the cube root of 4 to the fourth power. And another way to write this is you have the cube root of 4 4 times. Just go back to basics. You could just write it 4 times. Kind of ridiculous, but why not? It's good to be ridiculous sometimes. Um, and then th if you take 3 of these, that's just going to give you 4. So this is 4 cube root 4. So you have a pair of solutions here, x and y. Um, cube root of 4 and 4 cube root of 4. And you can just keep plugging in numbers all day long and come up with answers. I kind of rushed through the video, but kind of kind of a cool problem. That's it.